welcome to this week's video as per viewer request where I'm going to look at solving inequations or inequalities as well as equations because we have like a foolproof way that you're going to be able to use for every single one of these and it's going to be especially useful if you don't like worrying about negative numbers or you don't like worrying about changing signs. So what I've created here is a six step guide. Now that might seem excessive, however, there's every chance that you're not going to need to use every single step and this six step guide covers every possibility. So we'll just quickly go through them. The first thing is to get rid of any negative terms on one side by adding them positively onto the other side. The next thing we do is multiply out any brackets. The third thing we do is gather like terms on each side, repeating step one if necessary. So if we have any more negative terms, we can repeat that and get rid of them onto the other side. Step four is if required, we sub subtract the lowest letter term from each side or from both sides. And this one here is we subtract the lowest numerical term from both sides. And then what we have to make sure is we have letters on one side and numbers on the other. And step six, which will only apply in inequalities or an equation, if the x term isn't on the left hand side, we flip the sides and change the sign, or we change the sides and we flip the sign. So we have our first example here. So we've got 7x plus 5 is greater than 4x minus 10. So I'm going to look at the, the six steps here. The first one says to get rid of any negative terms on one side by adding it positively onto the other side. So we have a negative term here. So to get rid of it here, I'm going to add it on to this side. So we have 7x plus 5 plus 10. And we have greater than 4x. And it says multiply out any brackets. Well, we don't have any brackets, so we can skip that step. It says gather like terms on each side. So we have the num numerical terms here. So we have 7x plus, and we can just add these. So it's 15 is greater than 4x. Then it says if required, subtract the lowest letter term from both sides. So the lowest letter term would be 4x. So we can take 4x away from both sides. So on this side, we would have 3x plus 15 is greater than 0. And then it says if required, subtract, subtract the lowest numerical term from both sides. So it's not quite that. However, we want to have letters on one side and numbers on the other. So I just want to take the 15 over to the other side. So it just becomes negative when it goes on the other side. So this is the first we really had to worry about negatives. The x is on the left hand side, so we can just solve. So it's just going to be x is greater than negative 5, because we've just divided that by 3. I'm going to do another example for you. So this time in our second example, once again we follow the six steps. So the first thing is to get rid of negative terms on one side by adding them positively onto the other side. So we have a negative term here, the negative 5x. So I'm going to add it on to the other side. So it'll be 12 is less than 3x, I suppose plus 5x. And then we have take away 4. And we can still, we can do it again because we have another negative term. So we just keep going. So we have a negative term on one side. So we get rid of it by adding it positively onto this side. So we have 12 plus 4 is less than 3x plus 5x. And then, so we don't have any brackets to multiply out. The next part says gather like terms on each side. So 12 plus 4 is 16 is less than 3x plus 5x is 8x and we don't need to we're not required to subtract the lowest letter term or the lowest numerical term but we need letters on one side numbers on the other which we already have if the x term isn't on the left hand side 
we flip the sides and change the side. So we just flip those over. So we have 8x on this side, 16 on that side, and we just change the sign that way. And then we can just solve. So we just divide both sides by 8. So x is greater than 2. We'll do another example. So we have this example. And as you can see, there isn't any negative terms. So we don't need to worry about step 1. We also don't need to worry about step 2 because we don't have any brackets. And we don't need to worry about step 3. What we now we're going to look at is step 4 and 5. So if required, subtract the lowest letter term from both sides. So the lowest letter term would be 2x. So we can subtract that from both sides. So on this side, we just have 9 is greater than or equal to. And if we subtract 2x, we have 2x plus 3. And then step 5, we subtract the lowest numerical term from both sides. So we do 9 and we take away 3 is greater than or equal to 2x. That obviously becomes 6 is greater than or equal to 2x. And then if the x term isn't on the left hand side, we have to flip the sides and flip the signs. So it becomes 2x and then the side just goes the, the sign just goes the other way. So it goes this way and that's 6. So x is less than or equal to 3. We'll do another example. So this time we actually have just an equation, but that's fine because we can use them just as much as inequalities are in equations. So the first step is to get rid of a negative term on one side by adding it on to the other. So we get rid of the negative 15, we can go 15 plus 5 plus 3a is equal to a on its own. We don't have any brackets, so we gather the like terms. So 15 add 5 is 20 plus 3a is equal to a. Then we subtract the lowest letter term from both sides. So we can subtract, because that's a 1a, so we can subtract 1a from both sides. So this will become 2a and this will become 0. We don't need to subtract the lowest numerical term from both sides, although we could do by getting this over onto that side. So because we want to have letters on one side and numbers on the other side. So this will become a negative when it goes over to that side. So it'll be 2a is equal to negative 20. And then a is equal to negative 10, because we're just dividing that by 2. We'll do another example. So this example here, we're just going to go through the same steps again. So we're going to get rid of a negative term on one side by adding it positively onto the other side. So if we get rid of the negative 5, so we'd have 4x is less than or equal to 7x minus 20 and then plus 5. And we don't stop there because we have another negative term here. So we get rid of the negative term on one side by adding it on to this side. So we have 4x plus 20 is less than or equal to 7x plus 5. Now we don't have any like terms on each side. What we do now is go into step 4 and we subtract the lowest letter term from both sides. So the lowest letter term would be the 4x. So we subtract 4x from both sides. So this side just becomes 20. This side becomes 3x plus 5. And then we subtract the lowest numerical term from both sides. So we're going to subtract 5. So this becomes 15, which is less than or equal to 3x. And obviously we have the letters on one side and the numbers on the other. But because x isn't on the left hand side, we flip them round and flip the sign. So we put the 3x here, the 15 here, and it goes this way. And then to get x on its own, we just divide by 3. So x is greater than or equal to 5. The next example, I'm going to look at ones with brackets. So this time we're finally seeing brackets. But we're still just going to go through the, the six steps as usual. So the first term says get rid of it, negative terms on one side by adding positively onto the other. So we still have this here. So we're going to add it onto that side. 
So 5 is greater than 2, bracket, x plus 1, and then it will be plus x, because we've got rid of that negative x on that side. Step 2 says multiply out any brackets. So we'll do that now. So 5 is greater than, and that would be 2x plus 2, if we multiply this out, plus x. And then it says gather like terms on each side. So on this side here, we've got 3x, so we've got 5 is greater than, and it's going to be 3x plus 2. And then subtract the lowest letter term from both sides. So we can do that. We can subtract 2 from both sides. So that becomes 3 is greater than 3x. And then the x term isn't on the left side, so we need to flip them round and flip the sign at the same time. So it's 3x goes here, and 3 goes there, and the sign just goes the other way around. So x is less than 1. So we're going to do another example. So in this example, we're going to start as usual at the top there, when we get rid of any negative terms on one side by adding positively onto the other side. The negative term is the term that's the bracket, so that's fine. We're just going to add it onto that side to get rid of it. So it's going to be 5 is equal to, and we add that onto the right-hand side, so 2 bracket 1 plus 3x, and then obviously we already have 27 on that side. So we've just got rid of the negative on this side by adding it on to the right-hand side. The next step is to multiply out any brackets. So we have 5 is equal to, if we multiply that out, it's 2 plus 6x plus 27. And then gather like terms on each side. So we have the 2 and the 27 here, so we can put them together. So we have 5 is equal to 29 plus 6x. And then it says subtract the lowest letter term, we can't do that. Subtract the lowest numerical term from both sides. So the lowest numerical term would be 5, so we can subtract that from both sides. So this would be 0, and that would be 24 plus 6x. And we want to have x on one side and the numbers on another side. So if I bring that over here, so when we've got, we've got 0 here, it's going to be negative 24, which would be 6x. We want our x term on the left-hand side. We don't need to worry about changing a sign when it's equals. So 6x equals negative 24. Therefore, x is equal to negative 4. Okay, we're going to do an even more difficult example. So this time we have a really difficult example. So we've got 2 bracket 3x plus 7. Take away 3 bracket 1 minus 4x is less than or equal to 1 minus 2x. Now the good news is we can still just use the same steps as per, as per usual. So the first thing to say is get rid of negative terms on one side by adding positively to the other side. So this term here is the negative term. It's not because of this bit, it's this bit here. So this whole bit here is a negative term. So we can get rid of it in this side by adding it on to the other side. So we still have the first bit. And then we'll have our sign. And we already have 1 minus 2x. And then by getting rid of it, it's going to become a positive. So by getting rid of this negative on this side, it'll become plus 3, 1 minus 4x. The next step is to multiply out any brackets. Although what we can do is we've got another negative here. So we can actually add that and get rid of that from this side and add it on to, to the left-hand side. So 2 bracket... 3x plus 7 plus 2x is less than or equal to, and then we have 1 plus 3 bracket 1 minus 4x. So we just, we just carried out both steps there. We got rid of the negatives on both sides. So we multiply out any brackets now. So when we multiply this bracket out, we get 6x plus 14, and then we have plus 2x is less than or equal to 1 plus, multiply this bracket out, and we get 3 minus 12x. 
And what we're told us to do in step three is gather like terms on each side. So we have the 6x and the 2x, so we have 8x plus 14. And then on this side we have the 1 plus 3, so we have 4 minus 12x. And we can still go back to this part of getting rid of any negatives on one side. So that's probably a good thing to do if you don't like working with negatives. So we can get rid of this negative 12x by adding it here. So it's 12x plus 8x plus 14 is less than or equal to 4. Those like terms again go together, so that's 20x plus 14 is less than or equal to 4. We subtract the lowest numerical term from both sides. So we subtract 4, so we have 20x is plus 10 is less than or equal to 0. We need our x term on the left side and the number on the right, so that becomes a negative. So it's 20x is less than or equal to negative 10. So x is less than or equal to negative 10 over 20. And x is less than or equal to negative a half. So do one more example. So this is our final example. So again, we're just going to work through the steps. So the first thing is to get rid of any negative terms on one side by adding them positively onto the other side. So it's this negative term here, not this one, but the negative term here. So it's this, it's this whole bit here. So this, it'll just be 11 on the left hand side, because this is going to go over to that side. So we'll have 39, and it will be plus 2 bracket 1 minus 3x. And then the next term, the next step is to multiply out any brackets. So we can multiply out this bracket. So 11 is greater than 39 plus 2 minus 6x. And then what it says is gather like terms on each side, repeating step 1 if necessary. So we can get rid of the negative on this side by adding it onto the other side. So it becomes 6x plus 11 is greater than. And then gathering like terms here, this would become 41. So when we add these together, we get 41. So we, we don't need to subtract the lowest letter term because there is only one letter term. So we subtract the lowest numerical term. So the lowest numerical term is 11. So we subtract that from both sides. So on the left side, we have 6x. On this side, we have 30. And x is already on the left-hand side. So x is greater than, and we just divide by 6, so we get 5. Now, what's probably a good idea is to maybe get a screenshot of these steps because you can use them every single time. And actually, if there's any questions that come up that you think we can't use them on, please, please feel free to leave it in the comments section, except the comments section. So please like, please subscribe, and please feel free to suggest any other mass videos you'd like to see. Cheers. Bye.